Hello, Red Tree Humans. My name is Fridge. Today we're going to be doing a very simple junior dev RAM digging tutorial. So a couple things that I know that we're going to want. First thing, uh, I want to see if I can change anything. Uh, and sometimes I like to do this when I go into a new game, is the options menu. I like seeing if there is a possibility, so if they have difficulty, I want to see what it is, uh, if it changes, because that's one of the first things I want to do is have uh, I, I know I want to design things with an easy, medium, or hard difficulty. So let's try to see if we can find anything. So let's first go to New Search. I'm just going to keep it as a 16-bit. It's what I like to as a st standard size. So I'm looking for all 16-bit uh, size addresses. So they have you know, four digits to work with with the address. We're going to look for changes and things that stay the same. So right now, difficulty is on easy. It's set to easy. We're going to uh, sit there and say, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed because it is equal to last value that you filtered. So based on previous filtered, everything is the same. All right, now things are going to change. I'm going to select hard difficulty, and I'm going to back out of this menu and save it. Now when I go back into the options menu, uh, that option has been changed. It is now... Uh, set to hard difficulty. So I want to set it, uh, click what is not equal to last time you filtered. So what has changed? So it's looking for any time anything has changed. So now that's reduced uh, a lot down to other addresses. And based off that, I'm going to now set uh, the value, the difficulty to medium. I'm going to back out. It's going to save. I'm going to open up the options menu again. Now the difficulty has changed to medium. We're going to say it has changed since last time that we filtered. The last time we filtered it was on hard. So it's going to look for anything that is not the same. Great, we've done it again. Uh, we can do this a couple more times too. Uh, in fact, you can set up different ways of seeing what has changed and what hasn't. So uh, we've looked for again. We've changed it. It's changed to hard from medium uh, since last time we filtered it. Now, I'm actually not going to change anything. I backed out, go back in. It is still hard. So has it? Ha, what has changed since we last filtered? What we're identifying is nothing. We want nothing to have changed. So we want it to set it to equals last value because uh, it is the same as it was last time we filtered. Let's try to see one that's kind of by itself. This one looks pretty good. I know two because... Everything starts at zero, so zero is easy, one is medium, and two is hard. That's my guess. Let's just see if that's right. We're going to put it to easy and then back out. It's saved. It's now zero. Let's go to medium. This should be a one then. Hey, look at that. I think we might be onto something here. So we're going to say uh, because it is changed based on this is a small number here, we're going to put it as an 8-bit uh, address because it is uh, just within these two, 8-bit is just two um, digits here. And then um, we're not completely sure, but we know that this, this does change after you leave the menu. So let's go now into a game with hard difficulty saved. I'm going to add this to a bookmark as well to see if it ever changes. It will tell us um, if anything has changed with this uh, column. So that's nice. So we can just go through, and then as we're playing it, we can see if anything has changed. And I don't think it has. So that's great. Uh, we're just going to stick on with that for now uh, as the difficulty. Now we're at another section of the game. Uh, this is a tutorial stage, and uh, we can practice fighting. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can uh, look for... HP of the enemy. Uh, so to do that, let's start with a new search. I'm not sure what value this is going to be, uh, but I just want to see what's changed. So uh, we're looking for things that have not changed just because I hit a new search already. Now we're going to hit. Uh, he blocked, so he didn't, he didn't lose HP. There we go. He lost HP. So what is different? And we're saying, what is the same? After we've done something different, we press filter. Nothing else has changed since then. So then uh, another hit, something else has changed. Another hit, something else has changed. You get the idea.
now uh, that we've been reducing numbers that way. Let's see if we can uh, go further. So we think, uh, I'm just assuming that the HP is decreasing. Some games have it where it's it's flipped. It's uh, it's just every game is different. I'm only doing it when it has color because of the if it's blue, and that means the enemy has blocked the attack. I'm just trying to find his HP. All right, we're down to four dresses. That's pretty good. Let's uh, go back to our save state. And now he should have uh, a bunch of health. So we're just going to say what is greater than the last value. So what is greater than the last time we filtered? This one looks pretty promising. FF is usually a max of something, but this 44 also looks pretty cool. We're going to put it at 60, 16 bit just to get a better view of what's going on. Hmm. Looks like all these numbers are changing um, as I'm attacking, but this one's pretty good, uh, just of, of how of low it's it's going there. Uh, we're gonna put it back to what he had. What does he have? Like thirty or something? We're gonna see what happens here. It should be back to green. Good. So uh, as we boot up another save state, uh, let's see what happens if we freeze his health. His health shouldn't go down if uh, this value is correct. So it, it should never reach uh, anything darker than green. It should not go to red. It looks like this is the case. Uh, this might very well be his HP since it is frozen. Let's unfreeze it. And we can see as I'm attacking him, his HP is still decreasing. There's another number, I don't know if you noticed, uh, that was changing as this was going on. We're just still going to set this as 16-bit. Sorry, we're going to set this as 8-bit. Training Drone HP in tutorial. Um, just for now, that's just an interesting thing that we've seen. So uh, I want to see if there's any other uh, values that change in this address, because maybe all of this associates with this enemy. So let's see. So I see when I punched him, it, uh, this number went up. And also, if you've noticed, Every time I make a successful hit, this number goes up. Watch it as, uh, as, as I'm doing damage, it's slowly going up. So I think this correlates with like damage done to this enemy. Uh, as he's gone down to 42, it says he has two HP left. Yeah, we could, he had a started out with a value of 44, zero X 44. So um, we can see there that once he, because he's taken 4C damage. Oh, and he's, he's uh, come back to life as training protocol. Now it's 32 health again. And look at that. Now we're doing yellows. But before, we just uh, hit him with reds. So this is tracking total damage to this character. And we can also verify that by loading up our save state. It's now zero, where there is no damage to him. And now there's damage. As we move to the next room, Here's another enemy. We're going to start a new search because we found uh, all of those values that we needed before. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can find the HP value for this enemy. All right. Uh, we're going to, the game wants us to perform a throw. So I've done new search, and we already knew how it started, where um, the HP does not change until you do damage to him. And then at, when he does, so I'm going to set to last. So when I do damage, his HP is now decreased. So uh, the number currently is smaller or less than the last time we filtered. I'm going to repeat that again. I didn't throw him, but I did hit him, which lowered his HP. Again. 
Did you see these values changing? It could be something about position. I have not hit him again since I filtered, so his HP should stay the same. So I'm pressing filter a bunch of times, and now I'm going to do continuous filter. I'm just going to move around the room. I'm going to jump. I'm going to crouch. See if there's any other junk values. Doesn't appear so. Uh, we're going to do one more time of uh, less than. So when I hit him, he's going to have less health than last time. And he just did. He blocked. He did not lose HP. There he did. He blocked H and he lost HP. So uh, now I'm going to uh, boot back up to our uh, save state. I should have made one for that guy. I apologize. Now uh, I don't have to actually fight him. I could just reduce this guy's HP to zero. Set him. Since I already have that saved. Training drone, HP, and tutorial. In fact, I'm going to go back and change that to uh, the first, first training drone. Because it's important to specify what's going on. Um, now I'm going to make a save state here, save state two, uh, and we're going to damage him. Um, but before I do that, his HP is full right now. I have not hurt him in this uh, in this save state. Uh, so I'm going to do um, because there was a change, and I've just to be on the safe side. I'm just going to say it's not equal to last time I filtered. Uh, so nothing is, is uh, been excluded. So that's good. I'm going to cause damage to him, and then anything that is lower, because I did damage to him, and look at here, so that pattern before of zero, zero, uh, two digits, that has happened again, it's right here. So we're going to put this as 8-bit, second training from HP. We can even put the max as 44. I'm going to load up that state again. Okay, so his max HP is not 44. It is actually 38, which is different from the other one. Uh, and I just loaded from the safe state and just had that one highlighted. So now we know that. We might be able to make this uh, into higher values. So I'm going to test that right now. By adding a 1 uh, to that value, it appears that the HP, if it's over a certain max value, it starts reducing. I am not changing anything. The game is just doing this by itself, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm going to speed up the process to see what it stops at. Is it going to go back down to 38? Uh, mechanics like this can offer some interesting uh, achievement ideas, but it's also important just to see how the game works. So if uh, an enemy goes above a certain amount of HP, you can you can track that. It went back down to its max of 38, so that's set somewhere. Maybe here, since this is a repeated value, this could be the max and this could be current HP. And that's just, that's just intuition for me uh, trying. Um, and at, when I load up the first state, you can see that this second training drone HP hasn't even spawned yet. So the, um, which is just, uh, this is, uh, you know, unique, every game is unique. So, uh, because that, uh, apparently that entity hasn't spawned yet, we're just going to be waiting for that. Uh, once I've beaten the enemy here, give me a little suplex. All right, now I've got proceed. Okay. Uh, Boom, now we see that this, as soon as I'm able to complete that uh, task, then it spawns the next enemy uh, with 38 HP. I'm going to see what happens if I change this to 138. And then I'm going to see what happens if I change this to 138. It does not reduce. Let's go to, let's go to 198. I'm just trying to see things out, um, and we'll speed up this process too by holding down turbo. Just want to see if this is going to be a pattern for later um, enemies in the game, if it's going to be just in a list. And look at that. It stopped at 138. That means I can say that this uh, is not a 8-bit address. This is actually a 16-bit address. And uh, it could even be further. It could even be 32-bit. Um, and that, that will lead to further testing. 32-bit would be a massive amount for HP. Um, but we can test that real quick to see if that is uh, the case. We'll put down a 1, and we'll have this be 1 for this is the current. In fact, I'm going to update my code notes to second training drone current HP. Uh, the native max is 38. So anyway, I added a, a, a 1 to this 32-bit number, and I've added a, a 1 to this one as well. I'm going to add a 1 to the current, and it should reduce. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just going to put it to uh, something, otherwise it's going to take a while. And you can see that here. It would take a very long time to go down by, by all those numbers, so I'm going to just
there. Uh, and we should be able to see that it does go down to 138. I'm just going to attack this drone while we're talking. And this is a lot of devving too, is you, after experience, you're able to see and think about how the computer handles things. Um, so because we found uh, the current HP value, uh, Bungie was nice enough to just put the max HP value right beside it. And they're both in 32. Uh, we, can, we can confirm that because if I put this down to zero and I do more damage to him, it, it rounded out to um, uh, below where it went F, 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 F. Uh, so a 32-bit number can be uh, very big. So with that, uh, I'm going to change my code note to 32-bit. And we're going to go back to my save state. Don't feel like having a, a massive amount for um, HP values to stay. And then we're can, we can say with some pretty good confidence that this is the max HP of the enemy, and that's uh, 38. And uh, so both of these are 32 bit. Excellent, we've made progress. Uh, yet again, I'm going to cheat because I do not like doing things slow. Um, and since we learned that actually of our 32 bit address, we previously had this as 8 bit address. And that's now, we've proved that to be incorrect, so we're going to put that as 32 bits. And then we're also going to set the address right beside it because look, it's following the same pattern. As if uh, as the other, the other, the second training drone. If you double click on the uh, when you set a bookmark, if you double click on the address value, it flips to it, so it goes right to it for uh, easy access. Uh, so this is the first one. So I'm going to set this as um, max HP, and this one's going to be uh, current to set with everybody else. So first and second. So let's see if we can find the damage done. Uh, so we're going to start a new search, and we're going to do uh, equals, because I haven't hit him yet. Uh, there has been no change. Now I'm going to do greater than. So uh, if it follows the pattern of the, of the first training drone, when I do damage, the number increases. I've done that. Done that. So all I'm thinking in my head is, what has changed? And I'm just doing damage to this drone. All right. Now I'm going to load up my save state again. So this is fresh. So uh, I technically, since I've loaded my save state, I have not done any damage to this drone. So I'm going to do not equals to anything that hasn't changed or anything that has changed. Uh, same sort of scenario here. I still haven't done any damage to him. I'm going to do continuous filter just to see if I can get rid of some of these values. All right, I got rid of a couple. Let's try to do a, another attack on him and see. Uh, I'm going to look now for things that are increased because uh, that's how the other pattern was. I switched back to uh, filter because uh, there's also an important thing you can do. So say, uh, so I'm paused here. I still haven't done any damage to him. Uh, frame. Uh, advance is very, very useful. I'm going to unpause um, my game, unpause. The overlay in PCX2 does come up uh, when you're trying to frame advance, but in RA Lib Retro, it does not. I've set my frame advance to semicolon. So I'm going to attack him. You saw when that light came up, uh, that usually means that damage is done in this change too. Uh, so I'm going to um, say what has increased because that we have done damaged and now I'm going to filter and I'm, I'm still if you can see behind the uh, uh, overlay here I'm frame advancing I have only done damage when that color showed up so I'm frame advancing for everything that stayed the same since I have uh, thrown him and frame by frame is very useful because you can see when a change happened all right it looks like uh, that this as we go back to the original uh, save state as I just opened up, it looks like that this value that I noted where it says first training drone damage is total. So it's total damage done to enemies in this stage, so in the tutorial stage. So it, it counts accumulatively how much damage you've done. So that's really cool to note. So now we know that it's not first training drone. It's training drone total damage done just overall. And we know that it's uh, it's probably going to be bigger than 8-bit, 
Uh, it's it's also it could be 32 bit, but I think for our working reasons, uh, for now we're going to denote it as 16 bit. I think that's the safest in between everything, because uh, a 16 bit max address is. 65,535. That's a lot of damage. So we'll uh, we'll wait on that and we can always bookmark it and see uh, how big it gets. If it ever gets past that, it might have to we might have to set it to a 32 bit. Uh, but that can be a very useful address because it only goes up after you make contact. So you could do things like um, if ammo reduces and damage goes up, that means you fired a gun. And then uh, your melee only achievement or whatever it could be frozen or it could be paused. Um, there's a lot of interesting things uh, like that.